Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about float and clear. Um, in the last video, we did a clear with an element to clear. In this video, I'd like to talk about the clear fix hack, right? This is something that, that people have been using for years and years now, and it's kind of evolved over time. Um, and this is the traditional method used to, uh, to clear things um, or to, to make a, a parent element clear its floated children, okay? You know, we can see the wrapper here is not clearing its child objects, right? So this guy collapses, right? And um, I don't know, people have argued that that's actually a bug in CSS. Um, I don't know that it's meant to work that way or not. I, I can't say. But anyway, I'm going to search up uh, CSS Clear Fix um, 2016. There's so many versions of this. I want to get the most updated one because browsers change and there's other ways of doing this, you know, with more modern browsers. And if you look up an old version, like maybe it doesn't work as well or it doesn't quite um you know, it isn't, it's like more complicated than it needs to be or something. Um, so I'm going to use this one here that I found on CSS Mojo, right? I like that guy's name there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this little block of code here. So you might find this in a couple different places, um, and it may look a little different. Um, there's a lot of versions of this. I, I kind of like this one. It's really short. But this is what you can find. So just, uh, you know, search it up, CSS Clear Fix Hack or clear fix, okay? And I'm looking for a recent one, so I typed in 2016, okay? So anyway, I, I copied that off on the clipboard, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to my style sheet, and I won't need this other clear property anymore, so I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna use this one instead. And let me format that a little better. And what you'll do is you'll use just the name clear fix as your class, okay? So to use this, um, when you have a, a parent element or, you know, an ancestor and you want, it to, you want it to clear its floated descendants, what you'll do is you'll put the clear fix class um, on that element, okay? Hey, notice I have two class names here. Um, that's totally okay. You can put as many class names as you like on an element, like I could do class A, B, C, right? Um, as long as each class name is separated by a space. So no commas, right, or no whatever, no dashes or anything. It's just gotta be a space, okay? So anyway, I'll put the clear fix here and save. And now remember, our main wrapper collapsed to zero height. And when I refresh, the clear fix wraps around the whole thing, okay? Okay, so one more thing, right? Um, these boxes are all screwed up. I want to make sure that the rows line up. So how can I do that? We can use clear fix to do that. So this is an alternate to the previous video. So in the previous video, I inserted an element with a clear property, and that's a simple way to do it, and that works just as well, right? Here's another way to approach it, okay? So remember, each row is made up of three divs. So this is row one, or div one, div two, div three, and all of this is row number one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a div here that surrounds the first three um, divs, okay? The first three boxes. So this is row number one, okay? And then this div will get the class clear fix just like this um, main got clear fix, okay? So by putting clear fix on this guy, then any other floats will have to end up below this one, okay? So below this row, but the floats inside here will still do their normal float action, right? Okay, and so to make this work, what we gotta do is we have to do this for each row. So this is row number one. Row number two would begin here, and then there's div one or box one, box two, box three, and then I'll need a closing div. And then this is my last row, so I'll, I'll put div clear fix here. And then there's box one, two, and three. And then I'll put the closing div here, and then I'm gonna use this menu option here to um, format my text a little better there. And there we go, right? So now I have three rows that each one has a, um, a clear fix around it. And then when I refresh here, you can see that that straightens everything out, right? So, you know, you can't see it, but there's an invisible box here, 
that surrounds these three floated elements, and then the next row has to clear it. Okay, so anyway, hopefully that helps you out, and uh, that's how to use clear fix.